what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Tarsino here, man. Now, last year, I did this video called How to Dominate as a Shot Creator in NBA 2K17, and that video did really well. So this year, with a lot of you guys asking me what my animations are, what my dribble moves are, how I'm doing so good as a shot creator, I thought I'd bring it back this year, man. This is How to Dominate as a Shot Creator in NBA 2K18. Let's go. Now, first thing I have to say is this video is for anyone who has shot creating as either a main archetype or a secondary archetype this year. Yo, it doesn't matter if it's main or secondary, man. If you've got shot creating as one of your archetypes, this video will help you, I promise you. Now, when you think of shot creators in NBA 2K, you should be thinking of off-the-dribble specialists, okay? Especially from the mid-range. So, if you think of Kobe Bryant, Kyrie Irving, we're kind of like those dudes. We specialize in spin jumpers, step backs, fadeaways, all that good stuff. Now, the main reason we are so dominant is not because of our off-the-dribble shot rating it is actually because of this difficult shots badge this badge has been overpowered the last two years it just makes fading shots step backs everything going so much i would recommend you at least get difficult shots on bronze by going to my career and just shooting moving shots until you get difficult shots bronze man before you hit up the park or the prime that is what i did and that was perfect for me difficult shots bronze compared to no difficult shots is a massive difference and then as you go up the ranks it's a more slight difference man so it's not as important but you just need that bronze bad first and foremost now one of the main reasons my how to dominate as a shot creator video last year did so well is because a lot of you youngins and a lot of you dudes who are new to the nba 2k franchise or just a lot of you dudes who don't play like this actually don't know how to do the off the dribble moves consistently or they just they just get them sometimes don't know how to do them properly so in this video i am going to show you guys how to do every single off the dribble move in nba 2k 18 for shot creators, you should know how to do all of these just off by heart after a while. You need to learn them, you need to practice them, you need to practice how to green light each of your moves. And once you learn that, fellas, you can use these in games and just dominate. That's pretty much what I do, man. I just look at the situation, I react, and I use one of these moves. I'm about to show you all the moves that activate the difficult shots badge, as well as a few more that don't, but that you need to know, such as your step layups, spin layups, and floaters. Those use different badges, but they are vital to dominating as a shot creator, especially the floaters. Loader. So I'm gonna get straight into it man. I'm gonna show you guys all the animations I have equipped You guys can either use the animations I use or you I'd recommend this I'd recommend you guys experiment whatever one you like the most because this is just what I like man But nobody in the world likes exactly the same thing So choose what you like just stick with whatever animation you like the most It's finally here man. You guys have been asking me this for the longest time It's taken a month for me to drop all of these but here we go man all of you guys interested in my animations This is everything Trade break, jump shot, Vince Carter free throw, athletic three pull up, normal two spin jumper, normal 12 hop jumper, that's all that matters. These other ones aren't too important, I rarely use them. You shouldn't be using them if you're a shot creator. For my dribble moves, we got pro one moving crossover, pro three behind the back, pro five moving spin, pro five moving hesitation, pro three rhythm dribble, size up packages, normal one, normal one, normal one, normal one, normal one. You know why? Because I don't care about no damn size ups. In terms of dunks and layups, the only thing you need to know is that I have the Circus Layup Package equipped. Okay, now the main shot for any shot creator is their handy moving shot. You guys want to make sure this is your shot that you are really comfortable with, your comfortable go-to shot. To do a moving shot, you simply have to hold the left stick, hold R2 to give you some turbo, then hold square, man. That is a moving shot. There are four directions you can do it in. Just go whatever way you want, man. Hold left stick, hold R2, hold square, and shoot that moving shot. It is a shot you need to master. You need to choose a good one that you can green consistently, fellas. I use Athletic 3. Make sure you check out my overpowered dribble pull-up shot video if you want to get, uh, learn more about that Athletic 3 pull-up. But other than that, that is just a shot you got to learn thoroughly, man. Okay, now next up is the hop step jumper. To do the hop step jumper, you want to hold the left stick to the wherever you want to go. Hold R2. Then you want to pull the left stick back about 45 degrees. Not fully back or that will give you a step back. So to pull it back about 45 degrees, then you want to tap square to go into the hop step. Then hold it to finish the release. So watch this carefully, man. If I'm doing a hop step to the left, this is how you do it. Left stick to the left. Hold R2. Pull back 45. Hold square. Finish the release. Done. Okay, that is it. Watch that back in slow-mo if you missed that. I'm going to do it to the right side now. This is a hop step to the right. Here you go. Push the left stick to the right. Hold R2. Pull back. Tap square. Hold square to finish the release. Bang. Easy as that, fellas. To do a standing hop jumper, it's exactly the same as a moving hop jumper, man. Except you are standing still, obviously. So you can either be dribbling on the spot. 
You could, uh, you could like say I'm coming up here, man. I'm dribbling on the spot. I make a move here, and then I do a hop jumper right there just to get some space. So to do that, if you guys saw that, that is simple. It is just push the left stick to wherever you want to hop to. And as soon as you push it, you tap square to do the hop. And then you hold square to do the release, man. So watch that back in slow-mo if you missed it. But it's just you're standing in one spot, right? I'm standing right here. I hop that way. I hold square to finish the release. Bang, bang. Easy as that, man. Okay, the step back jumper. This is actually something new in a way kind of added to 2K18 because in 2K17 the step back and the hop jumper were the same thing. They were both the same animation, but now they added separate animations for each fella. So to do a step back instead of a hop jumper, what you want to do is you want to hold the left stick to the direction you're going to get and hold R2 to put turbo on it. But instead of just flicking the left stick kind of to the left, you want to really flick it right back, okay? So when you flick it back, you tap square and then you hold square to finish your release this time, okay? So if I'm going one way, hold R2 to get your turbo on, go one way, flick it right back, and then hold square to finish your release, man. That is a step back jumper this year. So as you can see, the animation was completely different from a hop jumper, and that is that, that creates a lot more separation, man. So I highly recommend you, you learn how to use that properly. And yeah, guys, that is the step back jumper. Now, the spin jumper is one of the best moves for creating for creating space and traffic. Pretty much will get most people off guard in the mid-range area, man. So do a spin jumper. You want to be driving towards the hoop. Then while you're at the mid-range, you want to double tap square. So if I'm driving with R2, get my turbo on, left stick towards the hoop, double tap square right here, and you will get that spin jumper, man. And yeah, that creates a lot of traf uh, a lot of space and traffic. Because usually your defender won't be ready for you to suddenly stop and spin. And you usually will have enough space to get a green light, man. It's a beautiful shot to use. Make sure you guys learn that one. The standing fadeaway jump shot. Now, this is a move that probably only like 2% of 2k players actually use. I don't see anyone really use it except me, I'll be honest, man. It's a move that's kind of hard to pull off at times as well. You can either be catching a pass and then as soon as you catch the pass, because you're just turning towards the hoop, you can pull away on the stick and hold square and you'll get it. But you can't do it off the dribble. But Oh, you can do it off the dribble but you can't do it normally because if you try and do it normally you'd think it's just hold square pull back like this but that always gives you a step back hop jumper like that so what you want to do is you want to go on a dribble move where you are turning away from the hoop okay so say i'm going away from the hoop right now i'm dribbling back and then i'm turning away and then i hold square like that that is how you get a fade away off a dribble there is no other way to do it if you try doing it any other way you always get this man you always get this animation where you just step and hop back and do that hop jumper the only way is to go into a dribble and then when you get into a dribble you just pull back on the stick and that will um get you that fade away from the standing position man so it kind of has to be a dribble where you're like turning to the hoop you want to be turning yourself towards the hoop like that see i'm kind of turning myself towards the hoop and then as you're turning yourself you can just hold square pull back on the stick and you will get that uh, fade away shot make sure you slow mo that if you guys missed the point ask me any questions in the comments because these can be pretty hard to pull off fellas some of these things i'm telling you guys are pretty advanced if you're new to 2k it might take some getting used to fellas and it's all good the floater to do a floater in nba 2k18 this one's real simple go towards the hoop man you want to you want to you want to shoot the floater when you're about at the free throw line so when you're about around this area man about here is when you want to start pulling up for the floater so pretty much all i'm doing is going towards the hoop holding r2 then i pull away from the hoop if i'm on camera relative or i just pull the stick straight down if i'm on absolute so if i'm going towards the hoop man right this put the left stick towards the hoop pull back away from the hoop that is a floater so it's just pulling the right stick away from the hoop man make sure you let go of r2 when you do this you just want to let go of r2 and then pull the stick away and you will get a floater the floaters are actually really overpowered this year they're basically like 2k16 floaters where they go in a lot so you really want to make sure you utilize this man it is a really good shot to use especially over a defender in the paint it gets every center every time man it is really effective this year i will sh i will probably make a video just on floaters because they are so good this year yo the spin layup to do a spin layup this is like a spin jumper but instead of double tapping square at the mid range you're gonna go all the way to the hoop man so you want to hold r2 go all the way to the hoop keep holding r2 and then just double tap square make sure you're holding r2 the whole time you need turbo to do this move if you let go you're gonna do a euro step now continuing on from that, to do a Euro step, you guys just saw me do one man, it's exactly the same as a spin layup, but you let go of R2, okay? So obviously going towards the hoop, you want to be holding R2, you don't just want to be jogging in like this, because that would be stupid. So you want to go towards the hoop while holding R2, then when you get close enough, you just want to let go of R2 and then double tap square, okay? So go towards the hoop, hold R2, let go, double tap square, that is a Euro step layup, boom. Woo! 
Woo! And there you guys have it. Those are all the off the dribble shots in NBA 2K18. Obviously, there's some other things in there that aren't counted as off dribble shots like the floaters. But that's everything you need to know to dominate as a shot creator in NBA 2K18. You need to keep practicing those moves. You need to practice your release points so you can green light them consistently. And then you just need to go into the park and play and keep playing and you guys will improve over time. I promise you. Work on getting open. Work on taking those shots consistently and you will get there. I wish you all the best of luck. I'm going to continue my grind to 94. I will catch you guys with a video real soon. Thank you guys for watching and yo, we'll catch you on the next one, man. You've been watching Tarsino. Live, love, and laugh. Peace out.